Merry Christmas, everyone. Hopefully you've been enjoying the holiday season our family has. We've already celebrated with a couple of different uh, family homes, and uh, we're excited to continue on uh, Christmas Eve morning here. And uh, we've still got a couple more places to go to celebrate. Uh, one of the things that we, we did do the other day is on our way back from Shauna's dad's house, the boys, it was late, it was dark, and of course they saw everyone's houses lit up. Mm -hmm. And there were some houses that were very extravagantly lit up. They went way overboard. They went like National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation overboard. It was beautiful. It was. It looked good and it lit up. And before you know it, uh, as we were driving, Judah and Jeremiah started to call out the lights. They were like, look, there's some lights. They were lights. And that light just stood out to them. And it, they took notice of it. That's right. Hi. Uh, I'm Shauna. This is Pete. We're Gala Hugh Family Discipleship, and it is Christmas <coughs> time. We are ordained ministers with the Church of God, and through the ministry that God has placed on our heart, we just invite you into our home through social media and say, come study the Bible with us. We believe that it is the best way to disciple your family because it's how we disciple ours. Um, this year, uh, we have taken some time to just reflect at Christmas time, and we've not put out videos every day, but today... We want to share with you something that God has uh, laid on our heart this season, and we're going. I'm going to read from uh, John, uh, the Gospel of John, chapter one, verse five, and it says, "And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not." Uh, we talked about the Christmas lights and how those lights, Christmas lights, shine bright. You know, when you're going uh, and driving uh, through the day and you see lights, lights aren't very impressive. But when light um, illuminates the darkness, you see such a contrast. And uh, that light brings uh, about um, uh, such a beauty, especially this time of year. Uh, people travel for hours and, and miles and miles to go and see light shows because light is so uh, amazing to look at. Uh, but what we want to talk about is the light of the world, Jesus Christ. We want to talk about how God sent his son into the world and light came into the world and darkness couldn't even understand what it was. Right. So this Christmas season, what we really want to focus on is, are you focusing on the light? Yeah. You know, are the things of this world getting you down or are you focused on the light of the world, Jesus Christ? Because the way that you view things, the what you're looking at is going to determine how successful your holiday is, how happy you are, uh, how joyous your family is, because that light never dims. It never goes out, and it's always there for us. That's right. We need to have the right perspective. We need to be looking at things um, <clears throat> through the the right perspective. And, uh, you know, this the last couple of weeks, uh, I have seen people put these memes on Facebook, on social media, and it's about, oh yeah, uh, exactly what Mary wanted, uh, giving birth in a barn, a bunch of strange men coming to visit her, and uh, oh yes, a little drummer boy decides, oh, your crying baby needs a drum solo. And even though, oh yeah, it may be pretty funny to a woman who's had a child and knows the pain of childbirth and, you know, you're exhausted and all those things, the scripture tells us something very different that Mary did. Um, it actually tells us that Mary, she treasured all those things in her heart. Yeah, she may have went through this long journey to Bethlehem and not had a place, a proper place to have a child. Um, there's no mention that her mother was there holding her hand or her daddy was there to, to take care of every little need that she had. It says that they went into Bethlehem, you know, because they had to do the census. And they were put into a barn, the only place that was left. And there they were. There they were. Yeah. You know, all these obstacles, all these things that, that could have made, uh, um, uh, if they were different, could have made it a lot easier. But look, she took everything around her. She pondered those in her heart. She treasured those in her heart. And she often thought about that. Right. So what are you seeing around you this <clears throat> holiday season? You know, this is a time of year where people become very materialistic. They gotta have, gotta have, gotta have, cause someone else has. Yeah. Actually, the media tells us what the most popular toys are, the most popular gifts are, and what people we have to buy our have kids. It. Yeah. Right, or, or the the retailers do, and and then people've got to go get it. You know, that's not focusing on the right thing. Uh, you know, it, are you going to get what you want or not? You know, that's not focusing on the right thing. 
uh, who is with you at this time of year, right? A lot of people struggle over, well, so-and-so can't be here, or we lost so-and-so this year. Uh, if you focus upon those things, you're taking your, your, your light off the eyes or the eyes off the light. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You know, we have to say, okay, are we seeing with eyes of darkness, through the darkness, uh, <clears throat> are we staying focused on all the things that could bring us down, that could steal our joy, or are we focusing on the light? Are we focusing and seeing with God's eyes, you know, it's a wonderful thing to gain God's perspective mm -hmm. on a situation. Um, because if we gain God's perspective on a situation, we truly understand and believe exactly what the angel told uh, Mary, which was with God, nothing is impossible. You know, you ha may have impossible situations that you're still facing through this season. And um, you are down and distraught. And, and having Christmas may not be the 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 thing that really is on your mind or on your heart um, right now and, and you can't enjoy it maybe you've already took down your Christmas tree maybe you know you've decided I'm not going to uh, partake in any of the festivities that I normally do but we need God's perspective right. we need to have that joy and that peace you know this time of year I can remember as a child and you, you probably can too if you didn't get something you wanted it kind of devastated you you know, take this and apply it to your everyday life going forward, not just at Christmas time. God doesn't just give us what we want. God gives us what we need. Yes. If we focus upon the light, we begin to realize that God has provided us with everything that we need in our life. And we're set up to be successful, not failures. Uh, so going forward, remember, focus on the light of the world. Jesus Christ this holiday season. Remember, there's four things we believe a disciple of Jesus Christ does every day. You're going to... <laughs> In, uh, encounter God, you're going to exalt God, you're going to edify yourself by reading the Word of God, and you're going to engage this world for Jesus Christ. Tell them Merry Christmas, Judah. Tell them Merry Christmas. <laughs> we love, love y'all. God bless.